so the question here is identify the figure even below so here uh, the options are uh, fibrous elastic hyaline and synovial cartilages so basically that is a figure of cartilage which is here and here uh, if we just try to understand the different kind of the cartilages we have three types of cartilages hyaline cartilage elastic cartilage and we have the fibro cartilage so i'll give you uh, the method by which you can identify different kinds of uh, cartilage so if you just see the hyaline cartilage so you'll see the island of chondrocytes will be seen and the collagen fibers in the matrix or basically the collagen fibers will not be visible so these are two very striking feature of the hyaline cartilage which will help you to identify when histological section is given then we have the elastic cartilage in the elastic cartilage you'll see the chondrocytes are larger than the normal so large chondrocytes are there and you will be able to identify that the short and single as well as branching means crisscrossing here elastic fibers are seen elastic fibers are seen okay so here you will be able to see that these are the elastic fibers and these are the large chondrocytes right then you have your third kind of cartilage that is going to be your fibro cartilage in this you will be having rows of chondrocytes so you can see here you will be having the rows of the chondrocytes these are the chondrocytes and then there will be an alternating bundle of bundles of collagen fibers so basically here you will be seeing there will be rows of chondrocytes and then there will be collagen fibers then there will be again chondrocytes there will be again uh, collagen fibers so this will be a alternating pattern that is formed between these so by seeing these kind of patterns you will be able to identify the different kind of cartilages okay so uh, i'll give you uh, more details of this let's start with the hyaline cartilage here so if we just look at here so you will be seeing that this is a hyaline cartilage because here you don't see any fibers here right so and this will be looking like the whole uh, matrix will be looking like a hyalose that is glass like so hyaline means hyalose that is glass like and in this collagen fibers are not visible it is not that these are not present actually what happens the refractive index of the collagen fibers is equal to the refractive index of the matrix and that's why it is an illusion to our eyes that these fibers are not visible so it is basically a illusion to our eyes that these fibers are not visible and these are seen in the articular cartilages you will be seeing these in the articular cartilages here you have seen that these are the islands of the chondrocytes which are visible here so these are the islands of chondrocytes and these generally do not run in line doesn't do not run in a single parallel line okay there will be islands actually and that is going to form your hyaline cartilage then we have the next one that is your elastic cartilage now in the elastic cartilage also the most prominently this is seen in pinna and that's why it is shown that it is taken from the pinna here so this is basically the elastic cartilage and in the elastic cartilage you will be seeing this mostly in the pinna okay and it is going to be consisting of the short single branching fibers so here if you see these are the chondrocytes and then you will be seeing the branching fibers which will be running and these are quite short and only single fibers are running okay and that's why you can uh, identify by this particular uh, appearance that the short single uh, branching fibers will be there and chondrocytes which are larger than the normal single chondrocyte is quite longer here right so large chondrocytes are seen and there will be fibers which are running singly although they are short and they will be branching right 
so this will be giving you the identification of the elastic fibers right so it is seen in the elastic cartilage of course then you will be having the fibrocartilage now the next one is going to be your fibrocartilage in the fibrocartilage we have just seen that the cells will be arranged in parallel and then there will be alternating bundles cells will be arranged in a line then there will be alternating fibril bundles okay so that is going to be the actual finding here which is seen here so it is basically the fibrocartilage work as a shock absorber and it is generally seen in the intervertebral discs okay it is seen in the intervertebral discs now here you will be seeing the long lines of the chondrocytes long lines of chondrocytes are seen we have already discussed this and then there will be alternation with the collagen fibers so alternation with collagen fibers right so there will be more and more collagen fibers in the fibrocartilage that's why it is known as fibrocartilaginous and collagen fibers are easily visible at, as well okay so you will be trying to see this and you will be able to easily visible uh, see these collagen fibers so here the collagen fibers are actually extremely dense and the chondrocytes are relatively far apart than the other sites okay so here you will be seeing there will be uh, the chondrocytes lines of the chondrocytes will be far apart so this is how we can just try to correlate different findings here and we can try to identify it now if we want to identify it here so you will be able to see that uh, the intercellular matrix here the matrix is no matrix is visible but the fibers are not visible fibers here are not visible at the same time you can see that there are islands of the chondrocytes islands of chondrocytes are visible and your fibers are not visible and that is going to give you the appearance of your hyaline cartilage that is glass like appearance so answer to this is going to be third hyaline cartilage and for more information about this you can see the explanation given in the bottom